Hey guys, this is King Adu with Do News, and I'm bringing you part two of a four part series on Basic Attention Token ICO, which is scheduled for May 31st. In this video, we'll be covering the roadmap. In the video before this, I did an introduction to some of the concepts that are required to understand this video, so make sure you watch that one. I also did a Brave browser review recently. You'll want to look that up as well and make sure you understand what the Brave browser is before you watch this particular video. If you already know, great, we can get right to it. So let's go straight into the roadmap, part one. Pre 1.0 BAT. Brave already has an anonymized ledger, an anonymized ledger for making donations and payments to publishers based on user attention. Now what that means, and what you would have seen in the Brave overview that I did the other day of the browser, you would have actually seen the way that you actually pay websites, you pay publishers as you browse the web. It has an application using Bitcoin. I'm sure they're going to add Ethereum, but you use Bitcoin, and essentially as you surf the sites, your money is donated based on how much you're surfing the site. So you can set like $5 a day and every day I'm surfing the web, my $5 will get equally distributed across the websites I use. It then piles up in a bank account, um, which is an important concept that we'll discuss later as far as the actual adoption of this platform. So they've already built this. Um, this is already done. This is in their initial white paper roadmap, and they've actually completed this. Not only did they complete that one piece, but Brave as a, as a browser already works. Go use it. It's really fast. It's available on iOS and on Android and on desktop. I've tried it on each, and I've seen exponentially faster speeds. I'm very impressed by it, and I also like the idea that my privacy... Um, is secure and safe with me. So if you're interested in that, go try it out. I encourage you to use it. I think it'll help you evaluate if this is an, eval uh, an investment opportunity for you. So 1.0 BAT. This is part two of the roadmap. BAT wallet integrated with the Brave browser. Okay. So right now there's really no wallet, but they're gonna put a wallet into the browser. If you use MetaMask on Chrome, you understand how that would work. If not, you'll wanna to go to MetaMask and or Google MetaMask and find it. I believe it's MetaMask.io, and there you can actually download a wallet that plugs into your Chrome browser. It actually lets you interact with dApps as well, so I definitely encourage you to try it out. There's actually a link in the description to this video. Go ahead and take a look at that, um, and it'll help you understand what it is that the team needs to build. So the wallet is very important because it's going to allow us to actually eventually start transacting, right? I want to be able to send you some bat, or maybe I want to send some to an online entity in exchange for digital goods or services. Pretty cool concept. So. It also is important because that's how advertisers are going to pay me. I'm a user, I'm surfing the web, I'm seeing ads, and when I interact with the ads, I'm basically getting paid for my time. So it's a very important concept that you understand if you're interested in investing in this opportunity. Second part of this uh, phase in the roadmap, part two, is something called um, zero knowledge proof. Um, it's, a, it's a type of ledger system um, into which it helps, um, it helps keep secrets safe, um, essentially so that these transactions can happen between the publishers, um, the advertisers, and the users. It's, it's extremely important that this technology exists on your behalf as the user because this is how your privacy will be secured and safe and no one will know anything about you. So let me teach you what zero knowledge proof means. Imagine with me for a moment that you, me, and your best friend go on a hike and we go to a cave. 
each of us know about this mystical cave. The cave is in the shape of a circle with one door in the back of the cave that's a secret magical door that requires a secret password in order for that door to open. So we're standing in front of this cave and I tell you and your friend that I know the password and neither of you believe me that I know the magical password. So I say to you, let me go prove this to you. I go inside of the cave and disappear. You then step into the cave and you yell into the cave left or right and I magically appear from the side you yelled. Now, if you yell right and I show up on the right, you may or may not believe me because it could be luck. But then we do it again and again and again. We all know that that magic door is there, but by me continuously showing up over and over again on the left or the right, whichever you choose, you then believe me. You then know that I know the secret to the door, but you don't know the secret still. Remember your friend outside? He's not going to believe anything. He didn't see any of it happen. So essentially that's zero knowledge proof. That's a concept that you'll want to try to understand. There's some good information online to learn about what that is. But it's, it's a very advanced um, encryption technology. And it's really exciting because it's going to allow us to be able to share secrets with other people when we choose to, with who we choose to, not letting other people know, or at least letting people know that I do actually know that secret, um, but not giving them all the information and the proof. So go research that because it's a critical thing to understand because they're going to be implementing this on the Ethereum blockchain. And that's really exciting technology and um, it's very powerful. So part three beyond 1.0. Make the transfer and verification process entirely distributed on the Ethereum blockchain using a state channel scheme with zero knowledge proof protocol for ensuring user privacy. Add alternate BAM metrics based on advertiser feedback, etc. So in phase three, essentially it's already been launched. Um, essentially, there's advertisers like myself using the tool, and there's publishers coming on board, and there's users getting paid. They're essentially just saying here that they're going to um, take the zero-knowledge proof uh, system that they built internally and put it onto the blockchain. When they first make it and they first launch, it's not going to be on the Ethereum blockchain right away. That's what the roadmap says. That could change between now and then, but that's what it says that is going to be put on in phase three. So it's very critical you understand that. Next, phase four, browser as a platform. Further BAM metrics. When they say BAM metrics, they mean basic attention metrics. That only matters to advertisers and publishers. It's, it's literally the reporting. It's proof that I have their attention when they're surfing on the web. So here all they're saying is that they're going to go further with the metrics, improve the metrics based on feedback, my feedback, advertiser feedback. Um, and then, then finally they're going to start working with partners, you know, Chrome has a whole library of applications that you can plug into your browser. They already have maybe six or seven. If you watched the Brave overview I did, you can see those. If you have Brave, you can check it out for yourself, but they have some plugins. It's my belief that plugins are the critical piece in the long run 
for success because that is what's really going to start driving some value to the platform. The actual currency being um, used and adopted by developers. And I, I really feel like that when you start applying BAT to plugins, that's when we're going to get real value out of the system, okay? Because, like, right now, um, the way I see it is sure, you get a bunch of BAT, right? And I'm an advertiser. I'm paying, I'm probably, I don't know, they probably are going to have me pay USD through some tool. I might use a third party tool. I'm not sure how that will work yet. But I'm advertising, and all you're getting are these essentially fake currency tokens. They don't have value yet. There's no value if you can't do anything with it. Now, in part four, they're also talking a little bit about how they, you know, they, they want to work with other companies to uh, offer digital goods and services in exchange for the bat. You kind of see how that, that goes. But I really think that the plugins and extensions, things that um, I can pay just a little bit for to automate, um, things that I do online, um, you know, I use like a bit Bitcoin calculator extension, right? We probably all have one of those by now. But, um, you know, what if it, what if it just cost one token or something, right? One bat token every time I used it. Uh, the developer is getting something back. The developer can then use that currency for services that that are offered on the platform themselves. And finally, we have some movement going. And I think that that's a critical thing, is that we have to figure out how we're actually going to spend these tokens, um, how easily transferable they might be to somehow sell it on an exchange to get Ethereum, to then turn Ethereum into USD or Bitcoin. I think that's really important. Um, otherwise, we're going to have trouble here with, with the value system and, and what's going on, you know. Um, I also uh, often wonder if me as a publisher, I mean, a, a um, an advertiser, I, am I going to be on an exchange buying coins? That would drive the price up, right? Because I have to buy the coins in, in bulk to distribute to you. So it's interesting um, in that regard because for how much advertising there is in the world and how many advertisers and the billions and billions of dollars, just me buying it, is going to make those coins go up in value. Like, I'm literally going to want the coins I gave you back so I can keep using this system. You know what I mean? Um, and we'll get into the numbers a little bit later about how many coins and things, but um, that concept is very interesting to me that essentially, um, as much as I'm rewarding you, I kind of want them back. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to buy them back somehow. So... A lot of it will come from the advertisers. And it's just something to keep in mind. You know, they, they keep talking about the publishers. And the publishers are going to have, you know, money pile up in a bank account that they can kind of flush out whenever they want. That's how the system works. Um, it's interesting. I still don't know what the publishers are going to do with these tokens. Like, do they just sit on them? Do they collect forever? What happens when a publisher gets too many tokens, but they never like use them or look at them, right? So all of a sudden, um, a, a big website like YouTube or Reddit, you know, they get this huge bank account, and it's so big that they become a whale. I don't know if that's good. You know, they're a whale now, and then they then one day they're like, oh, let's cash that out. Boom, market crashes. We all lose every like we all lose a ton of value all at once, and you know that that's concerning that's that's something that i see as a concern so real long-term success is going to require some actual um economics 101 to be happening here some some trading buying and selling supply and demand so keep that keep that in mind when you guys are considering this investment that's it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it i tried to keep it short but i can be long-winded about things that i'm, I'm passionate about so bear with me um Make sure you guys subscribe. Leave a comment if you have questions. I can try to answer them in the next few videos. Uh, make sure you hit the like button as well. It means a lot to me. Uh, make sure you share it with anyone who might be interested in this investment opportunity. And 
Um, as always, in the description down below, you can actually follow me on Steemit. Um, that way you don't miss any content I bring. Um, I do regular news and analysis and technical analysis. Um, so take a look at that. Make sure you subscribe there and give me an upvote there as well. It's mostly appreciated. Um, I can't tell you guys how much I'm enjoying this. So um, I'm done. We're going to move on to part three next. So make sure you subscribe so you do not miss it, okay? Make sure you subscribe, guys. I'm King Adu. May the force be with you. And until next time, take it easy.